hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so today we're going to be doing a project on python uh i hope you have downloaded the pycharm you have installed it and now it's time for us to get started now in this youtube channel we're going to be doing several videos several tutorials on python coding we're going to be doing different projects like for example the one we're about to do now is the calculator project so we're going to design a calculator in python uh, that which can add subtract multiply and divide that's basic calculator function and probably we can expand the code probably in a later videos so please if you want to learn python if you want to um, also do projects with me don't forget to like subscribe to uh, my channel and you're going to be seeing different projects that you can practice on your own to get yourself familiar with coding in python so let's get started so now the first thing we're going to do we are trying to build a calculator now and the calculator must be able to add subtract multiply and divide uh, we're going to define what we want so for example we're going to define um hard define hard then we can open the brackets say x comma y uh, define this for addition then we can now say return return x plus y so after it has added um, x and after I have uh, given it x and y, it's going to return the addition of x plus y. So the next one we're going to go to is define. Let's define subtract. Define subtract. Define subtract. Then we are going to. Um, write x comma y with a semicolon and then we're going to return 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 x minus y x minus y x minus y sorry y so we're going to go to the next one which is um, define multiply define multiply uh, we're going to put x comma y again x comma y and then we're going to return x multiplied by y. We're also going to define divide. Now, divide is very tricky. We should know that um, when you divide a number by zero, it's error. If you press your calculator now and you say, let's say 2 divided by 0, it's going to give you a, sim, a, a math error. So, we are to declare this um, in our calculator so that, you know, for us to be on the safe side. So that our calculator doesn't, you know, give a wrong figure. So, we're going to close that semicolon now we are going to say if because we are going to be dividing x by y so we're going to be dividing x by y so now we we'll say if if statement y is now equals to zero then the system is to return to return to return error error 
and you can state the kind of error division division by zero division by zero put an exclamation mark then uh, yes so we can now put an else statement else else return the answer like x divided by y so else return x divided by y divided by y now i've written that now so what should um how should it print how do we get the results now so i'm going to say print print does um select operation so the person must first be able to select the kind of maybe he wants to add he wants to subtract he wants to multiply he wants to divide so select operation first then close the bracket so we can now say print for addition print let's use one one for addition so the person can select one for addition two for subtraction three for multiplication four for division so one can say that that one is add to add then we can close the bracket we can say print print two for subtract subtract for subtract print two you can use two for subtract you can say to output use three it should use three for multiply multiply Close the bracket, and we can say it should print. It should use four, four for division, for divide, four, for divide. Yes. Okay. Seems I'm making some mistake. I didn't close the distinct. yes so we're going to use a while statement you know for like choose your input the choice you say select an operation then the person has to choose what you're going to be seeing on the other side of the screen so the person has to choose um, the kind of operation he wants to um, embark on so while true Um, choice the choice is equals to you can say the input input uh, the person should enter is choice enter choice so enter choice so you put the one two three and four then close the brackets now you can now say if choice
in one if trace is one the if statement two three four kind of choice then we put this close bracket Okay, we can do this. Then we're now going to use uh we're going to define like when you select one for addition, then we want the system to ask to input the first number the system should ask input the second number then the system will now perform the addition and print out the result now we are going to say number one is equals to float Input Input Enter first number First number Then I'm gonna close the brackets the two so the next one similar to what we have written but this for number two and you say float input enter second number so then i'm going to use the if so if choice if the person chooses one So if the parent's choice is one, let's let the system print its result. Print results. And the result should be add number one and two. Then the result that it's going to print will be the addition of number one and number two. Now we're going to use an else if statement, which is called elif. A leaf choice is equals to two now I'm going to say print
print results results subtract this time subtract mm, from number one subtract two from one number two close the bracket then it is under elif statement elif if choice is equals to theory and we're going to print result We need to print results for multiplication. That's multiply. Number one and number two. I'm going to use another elif statement elif if choice is four choice equals to four Choice is four. Choice is four. Then we're going to say it should print print result. Print results divide. Divide number one by two is number num two close then we're now going to use an else else statement okay say else Now say print invalid input. Invalid input. And then we can now say again. Is equals to input 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 do do you want to perform Another calculation after you is done with the major calculation you are giving it to do. So you say, do you want to perform Another calculation mm. 
Let me give it an option which is yes slash no. If again lower to this bracket because to yes I cannot see the system should break yes so this is the code for us to perform a simple calculation a calculator that can perform simple calculation so let's go through the code we said the system should de we define x and y to return x plus y we define subtract x and y to return x minus y we define multiply x comma y to return x multiplied by y and then we did um we use an if statement for divide because any number divided by zero will be a material so we we, we we create a space for that or else you should divide x by y so we said you should print first select operation this is what we are to see we are going to see on our screen select operation then uh, print one for add, two for subtract, three for multiply, four for divide. Then we use the y true. Which choice input means you should enter any of these. Enter one, two, three, four. So if your choice is one, two, three, four, you should ask for enter first number, enter second number. Then after you ask for the first number, you input it. You ask for the second number. Then if your choice is one, it's going to add for you. If your choice is subtract, it's going to subtract. If your choice is multiply, it's going to multiply. If your choice is divide, it's going to divide. Any one apart from that is going to be an invalid input. So if you do percentage, it's not going to just calculate all the work to give you invalid input. Again, it asks you, do you want to perform another calculation? Yes or no? So this all about the code let's try to run it hopefully we don't see error let's run it yes we encountered our first error it says the error is in line 35 let's go to line 35 is a print results uh, we said print results then multiply yes we then put apostrophe there yes i think this should be sorted out already let's make this uniform this should be sorted out let's try again hopefully we don't see error yeah we still encountered another error and the error is in same line 35 and it says print results comma multiply no, this should be small this big small letter multiply the numbers so by two let's try to rerun it again let's see i think it was error in the same line 35. i need to be careful let's look at it carefully we use elif if choice because the three it's a print results okay i know where the error is coming from yes this is the error is coming from let's adjust it yes fully solved this time Let's try to run the code and see. Yes, our code has run. So it has select operation. As it did in the code, select operation. So you give one is for add, two is for subtract, three is for multiply, four is for divide. So enter the choice. Enter your choice. 
So today I want to go on to do addition. So I'll enter one for addition. Oh, one error. It says error line twenty-seven. Mm. Line twenty-seven. Let's see what's wrong with line twenty-seven. Num because of float. So this float is supposed to be small letter. This is supposed to be small letter. Yes. So let's rerun our code again. Hopefully we don't see error. Okay, so we want to do addition, basic addition. Enter one. You say enter first number, sixty-seven. Enter second number, forty-five. Then it said our result is one hundred and twelve. Wow, our calculator is okay. Let's do subtraction. Let's stop and run the code again. Subtraction, let's do select two, enter first number, let's say 56, enter second number, 17, 39. The calculator is working well. Let's rerun again. Enter first number, uh, uh, select, enter your choice. That's three. Let's multiply. Enter first number. That's twelve. Enter second number. Twelve. One forty-four. So our calculator is performing well. Let's now divide. So let's select four. Enter first number. Let's select three. Enter second number. Let's select zero. Let's see what it will say. It's a error and gives it notify you that division by zero is error. Okay, our code is working well. So let's do proper division. Enter four. Enter first number forty-five. That's second number five. So we get nine. Mm. So also run this code again and let's see let's see decimal point add let's choose add twelve point six seven plus four point seven six seventeen point four three. So this our calculator this whole for tonight. Probably we'll be expanding this calculator. We we'll want it to include a lot of things to be able to carry out a lot of calculating um, function in our next tutorial. Or we'll come up with different projects. Believe me, we're going to be learning different projects. By the time you do this on your own and you're getting the same result as I'm getting, then you are fine. That's your first um, project. So we're going to do projects. We'll, we'll move to the complex one, complex one. You don't want to miss out don't forget subscribe subscribe like my videos and subscribe so that you're going to get notification on all the projects that i'm going to be doing thank you for watching